Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have a box of Core 2021, so this is something which I haven't opened on the channel yet. I mean, I opened a couple of those uh, release kits, which was fine uh, and all, but like a full box, I just want to see, uh, you know, what's the, the distribution on a high level. I think also this is one of the more underrated core set because it has a very, some very, very nice reprint. Um, we have the what is this paint slayer angel which is a good one green tutor super good one that's a card which i always wanted to have uh Ugin, that's a much needed reprint a couple of things on the rare slot like azusa uh was thrown into the mix so this is overall i think a pretty exciting core set um and it's actually at a pretty good price right now so it's around like 90 dollars us so i think without further ado it's time to open the box uh, let's see what we get here. So I'm hoping to get some of those. Oh, and it has these gorgeous lens in it too. I don't know why they didn't put in one of every uh, pack. Like that would have made people feel really good about the product. But, you know, that's kind of Wizard's way of doing things, I guess. Uh, Bosch's Acolyte. Yeah, that's it's an amazing card. So, yeah, so again, the set is kind of revolving around a new planeswalker for White Bus Ricket. Uh, I think it's Chandra, Liliana, Jace. No, that Jace is Staffery. Um, and which color I'm missing? Chandra, Liliana, Jace. Yeah, and what's the green? Oh, Garuk. Garuk is back in this set, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we got our first one, a Demonic Embrace, uh, which is an amazing rare in Limited. So, keep coming back. Uh, yeah, might have some implications down the road in like other formats, but yeah, that card is pretty good. Okay, okay, that's Cat Token. That's the most interesting Cat Token. Uh, Frantic Inventory, that's a card for Popper. Uh, Anima, that I hope is another card for Popper, the Sanguine Indulgence, because you can reuse uh, the, sorry, the costing cost of it. And yeah, and getting three cards back is actually pretty good. Okay, yeah, Cressu, more Popper also. Chandra's Pyroling. Yeah, those cards are looking kind of insane. Okay, so Riddle Form. And we have a Temple of Malady. That Temple Cycle is reprinted the one millionth time by now. Um, and Wizards are currently still not bored with it um the good lens is just right now probably the price is around like 50 cents each however one thing which is a notable reprint and i'm hoping to open those is fable passage on the land slot so so that's something which is uh which is growing up to be a commander staple already okay which is called drawn okay so waker of waves oh yeah me okay let's see and we got a foil Jeskai Elder. I don't know if this has more foils than corsets traditionally do. Um, I don't know how it's that work, but I'm definitely, yeah, because I'm kind of mixing it up lately. I opened a lot of um, Zendy card set booster boxes and um, what is this Commander Legend? So those used to have foils in there anyway. And I'm just not 100% sure, you know, which one is which at this point. Uh, should I have foils? Should I not have foils? Okay, only Fury. Yeah, this set is also, I think, looks pretty good um, in terms of, like, playability. Uh, the draft format and, um, yeah, drafting and playing sealed for new players. I think it's pretty good. It's, you know, it's a core set. It's not like uh, Commander Legends, which is like super, super deep. And you really need to understand the ins and outs of magic. These are like relatively simple mechanics uh, with a couple of good cards. And you can open real cards which actually go very, very deep into, you know, formats like Legacy sometimes. So that's definitely a welcome addition. Rewind, this is from Earth of Saga, so that's one of the coolest card oh mangara so yeah i'm i'm very happy to open any number of mangara even though that's not a um that is not an overly expensive card as far as i remember right now but i think it will be so keep an eye on this guy uh, i'm really really high proponent of it and i do think this this will become like a, a more white way to go in command there because the, the card draw in it is pretty sick um Oh, frantic inventory, yeah, a number of frantic inventories are also welcome. 
uh, again being a proper staple never hurts definitely pro dj that's a nice art yes i love these artworks like these these frames are like just so gorgeous yeah so this is our Teferi's pro dj uh we have this card this card is so excellent uh okay oh this one is uh, i think this one is a rare and it got downshifted so yeah uh the the new hondan cycle or like the the shrine cycle per se okay all right so so there are a couple of interesting things going on here and and really you know as we get more of these like shrines uh yeah we can you know eventually start building shrine decks or like five color enchantment decks in all the format so that's also definitely a welcome addition which this course that brings in uh well wall of rules is not that much a welcome addition but whatever this format brings it in regardless okay uh, right around oh wow this is the second one of it here it is i don't know like i i would appreciate opening something more serious like a, a green tutor for example, because this well is kind of getting boring a little bit right now. Okay, let me see. The dog, the alpine dog. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, this card is excellent. Uh, in limited. Okay, so what are we doing? Oh, oh another Bane Slayer. That's interesting. Uh, I do have the card, and this is what I'm talking about. Like, these artwork, man, and the frames. Oh my god, like I don't know why Wizards is not putting one in each pack, like this would raise the value or the longevity of this set so much, this is so beautiful, like these, I don't know, these artwork, like I opened one for, oh my god, uh, of, of these, like I just, I just really wish that was like, you know, like m more frequency uh, with these, okay, so let me see so two mythics so far uh not high value the the two white one oh, it's super valuable either of them but they are mythic rares regardless okay another temple mm, yeah least so let me see okay i haven't even checked what are the, the price on, on some of these cards most of it I think would not be very expensive, but again, right? Like I, I think the longevity of this set is something to uh, to pay attention to. Oh, and some of them similar to is getting a reprint, also, which is pretty cool. A good old some of them. Uh, the baseline for a value based grind is standard format. So I don't know, like I haven't um, really had time to check how standard is going these days, but I would assume once we get more sets, uh, you know, Solemn is pretty good card to have for mid-range decks, okay, yeah, this one is not too exciting, okay, so let me see, yeah, I don't know, like, I need the mythic or the stone big entity or favor passage favor passage would be excellent i would love to open favor passages because that card is um, just getting nuts and it's, it's good to have it in the format uh, but it's also good to have it in the collection so so reason why i want it Ooh, a heroic intervention another notable reprint like this card uh you know started to really really go up like yeah like at one point this was like twenty dollars and i was like whew that's a little bit steep as far as the price is concerned uh but yeah heroic intervention is back so so that's also a notable reprint here uh okay yeah so a couple of green cards a couple of life gain cards Fungal Reverse and Quinion Dryad, that used to be also a rare, by the way, notably. Um, yes, for Reviewer and another nice, nice, nice slump. Oh, I love these. Yeah, God, such a pity that you got like around five a box. Yeah, I would love to have, have more of these. Um, they like, yeah, like much more. <laughs> Honestly, because I I would have no problem using these as my basics in my modern decks or, or you know whatever you want it. Um, but yeah, 
Yeah, those ones that I, I think one of my favorite artworks in the recent years. Oh, another Rada. Oh, on a foil blossoming sense. I don't know how good that one is, but we got a foil blossoming sense regardless. So, okay. So, Heroic Intervention is, is great. Love it. Uh, another one actually, which is notable reprint, is Root Halo. Yes, I don't I wouldn't mind opening that either. Uh, Root Halos are also pretty good like very strong sideboard card in eternal formats uh, just like making sure our opponent cannot cast Ooh, interesting a pack leader and the bush is a bit wow that would have been a super strong white pack <laughs> for basically left so rune halo is 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 another notable they played. i think they did a pretty good job with corsets lately like, I mean, Scape Shift, um, Crucible of Words was in Corset, Leyline Cycle was in Corset, so heads down to Wizards. Uh, I think they are using these really, really well to, to give us the supply for cards in eternal format. So I'm, you know, I'm all in, like, I, I think they kind of bought me with that. Okay, um, yeah, um, um, zombie token. So, Conspicuous Sloop, yeah, another card which I think would see a ton of eternal play. Uh, making goblins great again, in like Legacy or Modern. Yeah, like I think that card is fire. So, it is, yeah, it is good. Okay. Oh, let me see. Experimental Overlord. Who haven't seen these cards? Oh, wow. Twin Blade of Sin and the Garuk. Okay, we got a Mythic here. Oh, Light of Promise. Oh, this one is nice. It's nice stuff. Oh, wow. Lights reflecting on it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So. Twin Blade Assassin. Yeah, I think I. Unfortunately, haven't had much chance to play a couple of games on Arena on this format, but it looked good um, to me. I mean, with the lands, obviously, that this is uh, this is designed for newer players, so not like necessarily diehard professionals. But for that purpose, I think it looked like and Kerouac, an iconic character. Okay, so weird token. It's gone, kind of like the spiteful is coming. Yeah, I, I think I like these courses a lot. Uh, I like the previous one though, too. The the Cavalier Psycho, oh my god, those cards. Those cards were just so excellent. Like, the design on those, like, uh, the mana cost, heavy commitment in wrong color. Very powerful effect, but not like unbeatable per se so it's not the your euros that like you cast it and it's mythic and then you know you're so far ahead they never gonna come back and, and you really need to build your deck around being able to cast them like i think i think actually the cavalier cycle is the perfect uh standard card design so but i'm talking a lot about you know previous core set as opposed to talking to this one. Ooh, these artworks again like look at these yeah, like look at this frame on this card. Oh, like, like they just really knock it out of the park on some of these things. I I just wish they you know they would be a little bit more like lenient, giving people uh, more of these like extra nice artwork. Yeah, there's no reason why this should not be their baseline per se on on some of those things. Okay, so let me see. Goblin Wizardry, another popper uh, goodie. Rise again, seeing also popper play. Dub, Tempered Veteran, Seer of Soul, Gormand. And Femin Sword again. Okay, and oh, got it. Yeah, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love the nice lands. Alright, so moving on. It's back. Ignatius Curve. Cancel. Cancel is ever present. Trigger possibility. Another proper, proper viable card. Yeah, I, I just love the fact that there is like, you know, like other than the, the rare, some of the, the mythic, some of the eternal format. Rune Taylor, for example. Yeah, notable mention. Uh, so, for, so some of these cards which are playable in eternal formats. 
uh, as well. We still on the top of all of that. We gonna get like you know like ten or ten plus amazing proper cards. So for me, uh, like I do that, I play almost every magic format. Like these, these, these feels like the treasure chest. Because whatever cards I open, I almost always feel like, oh, okay, I can use it somewhere. Or, you know, like every pack has something which makes me basically happy. Uh, I don't know about this pack so far. Yeah, Miscast is definitely one of those. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna snap this. Ooh, another Rune Halo. I'm happy with Rune Halos, man. So, you can give me more Rune Halos. I'm not gonna complain. Okay. So, let's see. What else we have? So, okay, so two rune here. I'm in. Sign me up. Yeah, and rune halo actually is, I think it's pretty good against Oko too. Oh, not Oko, sorry, Euro. Oko is sort of the band. Uh, the band hammer was good against that one. Uh, okay, ooh, game. Okay, so this box uh for you know like eternal format equity is gonna pay for itself pretty soon because i think google is climbing back up uh yeah like the mangara um thing is pretty good the what is this the two rune halo is good yeah the only thing i need in this box again is lazusa i think that would be excellent if I could heal Azusa, but if not, oh, cultivate another one, right? Like another one of those cards and a fabled passage. Oh my God, fabled passage, ladies and gentlemen. One of my uh, not all-time favorite, but it's a card which I'm, you know, looking out for. So I actually still need one more copy. I think I only have like two. It's crazy. The amount of Tone of Eldraine I played, I didn't actually do like, you know, like big box opening or anything, but I played a lot, like I went to, to GPs, uh, played limited fanatic package, yeah, I was doing a lot of work on, on that one, and what ended up happening is, that at the end of all of that, I only got, oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, let's see this pack. Appropriated containment priest, another notable legacy playable all star, awesome, super great card, which is now in modern. Yeah, this is this is one of those things. Oh, look at this artwork! It's one of those thumbs up things. It's like, guys, Wizards was doing a good job here. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm finally completing my Eden playset, uh, which I'm very much appreciating. Uh, okay, so yeah, and color problems yeah yeah like i'm i'm i mean on this box this altar conta containment piece I, i'm pretty sure they are cheap now uh but again right like the longevity of these cards and garuk's harbinger another card which i think will see plenty 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 of play standard an angel token yeah i'm digging this box so far i got like almost everything double rune halo yeah i think another azusa and maybe another fable passage that i'm writing home uh or or you can always give us more grim tutor so yeah grim tutor is awesome um that is the card for me what i would love 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 to have Okay, the Miller guy, uh, T-Skill Enforcer, which is a good card though, uh, standard playable very much. The Rogue deck, yeah, the Rogue deck is another notable thing, uh, which this, you know, like this, this core set ends and the car rising both together, so, so overall, I don't know, I'm really, really happy. Uh, Lilian, that's your, I'm pretty sure that this card is gonna see modern play eventually. It's a one mana discard, uh, very sacrificable body, which you wanna keep getting back. Okay, well, bomb, we got a foil island. So, a foil island is always good. Okay, so we are down to the home stretch. We have like six pack left, or seven. All right, let's see if we can hit another, another, another notable mythic, like for example, the green card, the, the keyword uh, soup. 
which is that's how they develop green cards now which they did in the past the acromas and, and and things like this but they weren't too good however now they are very greedy they don't make the mistake anymore they put in an immediate card advantage on these cards or near immediate so like hero that's like okay a 6-6 six, six, um should come in a way that some people oof Oh, 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 I'm not complaining here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the namesake card of the set, Teferi. Uh, we got this nice alternative art. I don't know if there's a regular art, please don't ask me uh, at all. But yeah, but this one is, this one is great. So it's like now upwards to like $30 or something. So the namesake card turned out to be pretty good. It's really bad in limited though, notable. So... Please don't put it to your limited deck, it's not good. Uh, but in constructed, it's amazing. Spark counter, Masticor, another design which I believe is excellent. I, I love love this card. Um, it's like you know being yeah being good at uh, being good against planeswalkers is just such a key thing. And I think this might actually start seeing play down the road in older format sideboards because it's like a three minus three four at base, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, like I mean, it's two for one, like the two for one in our stuff. But the value what we get against like you know planeswalker heavy get deck is just completely insane. Uh, like if this sticks around on the board like one or two turns then it's like basically lights out for any planeswalker deck because uh, the damage what it will do is like irrecoverable like yeah like especially if they are like one or two planeswalkers have low life total this can immediately trade for like two cards and then they need to remove it so yeah very very powerful stuff another frantic inventory which is also very very powerful stuff yeah, I love this. I'm like, I'm so happy with this core set. Yeah, have a just uh, um, okay with this walk. I know I'm not that happy, but overall, I cannot complain about the box so far. All okay, right, get, a, get another green tutorial. We are, we are good. Or the, the seven mana orary for commander. That would be a card which I would look forward to open. All okay. right, drop that one. So let me see. Okay, village rides, Garrux, sing. Okay, okay, Prismite, Duress, Griffin area, another pff, amazing card. Uh, okay, Sublime Epiphany, um, Limited All Star, Unbeatable, and I think Commander All Star soon. Soon to be Commander All Star, amazing card. Yeah, so so this box is, is pretty good so far. Another stone big entity and uh, will make me we are happy more. Um Yeah, like I don't, I don't even know what is the heroic intervention, maybe something which oh <laughs> speaking of the devil, that would make me real happy. Okay, and I still think it's like I don't know, like seven or eight dollar. It just never goes under that price that card so i love it love it love the fact that i opened this finally uh, let me see here we get the action okay the last pack ladies and gentlemen let's see if we hit a home run i mean so far the box is good can't complain about that uh okay kraken and nine lives whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that's kind of a letdown card um but it's an interesting design so yeah so so let's look at this so heroic intervention definitely a good card sublime epiphany teferi um lens are kind of garbage in my book uh the containment piece is amazing fable passage ugin rune halo uh rune halo 2 yeah i think i think these are excellent the snoop uh another heroic intervention i don't know about solemn but it's a pretty good art um, okay, and yeah, so Mangara, very, very, very notable. And maybe you can add a base layer, however, now it's super cheap. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 
Yeah, so 13 of our rares are, are very, very notable. Uh, maybe even 15 if you count the thief gear and forces or 16, so like around half of it. Um, that's definitely another standard playable thing. So yeah, uh, Hexproof from Blue. Yep, yeah, I think this is this is where we are uh, with this one. I think this box was pretty good uh, opening, and obviously these card prices are right now down a little bit. Um, so Heroic Intervention is not a twenty dollar card anymore, and Ugin is not like sixty or sixty dollar or whatever it was. Uh, but again, right, like 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 these cards already making their way back as common they keep driving prices so so i think this like a couple of weeks until this this box breaks even on paper prices and then from there on it's just all upside because you know it's unlikely that they reprint Ugin uh anytime soon again so i don't know like if you see these boxes at a great price I think it's worth to, to pick them up. Uh, really, there's so many, many, many good, 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 good cards uh, which can play into multiple formats. And especially if you want someone um, to get into magic and they want to you know, be a little bit more serious about it, they don't know where to start. I think this course set is a good way to, um, to, to get into the game and then just start buying you know, more, more and more stuff and then upgrade the collection that way. But I think this is a solid start, so thanks for watching guys and see you next time.